friends. Good afternoon. So I'm on here with you because I had a request. Someone had asked to see me make a tassel. And um, I know I have made a lot of these tassels with you guys in the past. I did send her to my YouTube channel called Tammy Loves Vintage to see if she could find it and um, or find one of them and she wasn't able to find any. So um, I thought, I told her I would jump on here really quick and make one with her. Um, and I thought I would just do it with all of you rather than just her privately. So um, let's get going here. Let me um, tip you down. Hi, Tisha. Or no, that's not Tisha. Yes, it was Tisha. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kareen. Um, thank you guys for jumping on and saying hello. Uh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Kareen. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to put you down to where you guys can see what I'm working on here. Okay, and then um, all I'm doing, I just grabbed a few pieces, a few little things just to make one really quickly. Um, the What I just did that you didn't see on camera was... I had a piece of muslin shred that was pretty wide, so I just wanted it a little bit skinnier for my tassel. Um, it was wide, let me show you. It was wide like this, like this piece right here, and I felt like it was a little too wide, so I skinnied it up a little bit. Still might be a tad wider than I want. Um, let me see if I can rip it one more time. So I'm just gonna snip it. Any muslin that you ever wanna tear, um, you just snip it first, and then when you pull, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna let me. It, it's, I'm almost too small as it is. Um, sometimes it'll follow down the same line and make it a little bit skinnier. There's lots of stringy things. Um, this is just muslin. We used it for curtain lining. You can get different, um, different thicknesses of muslin. Uh, it could be anywhere from $2.99 a yard up to, uh, oh, I don't even know up to what. I shouldn't quote a number because I don't. we don't buy a whole ton of it. Um, I usually just get the cheap $2.99, um, $4.99, whatever it is. Uh, and I usually buy, you know, like several yards of it at a time. Uh, I've been known to buy a whole bolt before. So, okay. <laughs> so, I'm not going to try to make it any skinnier. But I have to decide how long I want my tassel to be. So, I'm going to say, um, this is probably about, oh, oh gosh, I don't know, about 8 inches, maybe 9 inches. Um, that looks to be probably about where I would want to be. So I'm going to go with that. Um, so you make your string double the length because you're going to be folding it over. And this will be your tassel part, okay? Um, and I'm going to try not to be too too fast. And I'm going to make one here that I can use um, here in my house. So let's see. How many cuts can I get out of this strip that I... I already cut it looks like I can get six pieces out of that and I just have a little bit of trash here so okay and then I did grab a little bit of handmade lace um, or vintage lace and I just whacked it off so I don't know if I got it long enough um, some are too long I really just literally just chopped um, let me see, this one here I might be able to save a little bit off of the end. I hate to be wasteful with this stuff. Uh, it's not all handmade, but it is all vintage. Um, let me see here. There's another piece. I went for all different colors. I'm not looking at your comments, you guys, because <laughs> I want to I wanna keep it rolling here. I can't use that. I do have a little box here with some more. So maybe I'll throw, um, let me see if I can get any out. Oh yeah, I can get enough out to make one strip with this. So I like to mix um, the elements that are going into my project here. Um, let me, do I have you there? Let me get you down just a little bit lower. I don't, I don't know if I need another one or not. I don't need another one, I just might want another one. I always like this one too. Um, oops, that's too short, let's see here. I always like this one. This is definitely handmade. Uh, okay. All right. So there is that part of it. And then I can even add in, you know, a couple pieces of jute. It, I'll have to spray it to get it wet because I've got a crinkle in it where it's been tied to something. But I might even throw in a piece of jute there. How about that? Just one. We'll just put in one. So then what I'm going to do 
is take another piece of jute, or you can use ribbon, you can use whatever you want. Right now I'm using mostly muslin shreds with vintage lace, but you could use um, old seam binding, um, just any anything. You could use just muslin shreds, you could do it in, it comes in white, it comes in a cream, and then I tea dye it, and I don't have any white or cream right here with me, um, but this would be like your different, this would be like the white, and this would be like the cream. So see how you, you would have three tones if you wanted to do that. You would just buy three different um, types of muslin. You would well, buy two and then you would stain, tea stain. I usually do tea stains myself. Um, gosh, I'm probably losing all of you guys here. Um, so, okay, then you tie a knot. Uh, just ask me questions. If you guys have any questions, just ask. I just feel like I've done this a lot in here, so I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to overwhelm you all. So, so now what you need to do, so here's your tassel. So you have your tassel done, right? That's all you need to do. And seriously, you can just tie it right to whatever you want to tie it to just like that and not put a top on it. I have all sorts of tops that you guys have seen me use over the years. Um, I'm going to go for just this, um, it's like a little short dowel rod. I don't know if some guy at a, at a show had a whole bag of them. And so I bought some, um, for, well, I bought the bag actually. So they just look like maybe like a mini spindle or something. I'm not sure what it is. We've used um, spools. I didn't pull any of my tassels out of my stash to show you guys, but um, I know you've seen them uh, before. So, and, and yet here's the thing. I know that uh, Facebook tends to only show the people that uh, have chosen to follow you, the people that are liking your page and commenting. So I feel like you guys see this stuff or have seen it in the past, but yet maybe you haven't. Maybe I need to kind of redo some oldies but goodies like this um, for you, or even just to refresh your memory. You know, a lot of times I'll see a project and I'll screenshot it and be like, oh, I'm going to make that someday, and then I never do. So what I'm doing now is trying to knot it so that it stays tight, okay? Uh, I never do, and then I might see something like it again. It's like, dang, I forgot about that. I haven't run across that picture in forever. I was going to make one. So um, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm doing this for you guys. So then you want to decide, like, how big do you want your loop to be? Like, if you're hanging it on the knob of a lamp, you probably want it longer so that it comes out of the bottom of the shade so that you can see it. But if you're hanging it on a, um, like on a cabinet knob, you don't really want all of that string, so you want it shorter. So it used to be I would give myself a loop, a solid loop, and I would work that the, the pieces down into the tassel. But now I kind of like being able to adjust uh, for where I'm going to hang it. So um, I've started uh, I started just doing it this way. Then I have a little bit more, like I can tighten it up. Of course, I can't make it any bigger, but I can tighten it up a little bit. So I like that idea. So I'll just share that with you, that thought. So then I'm just gonna snip off. So obviously I won't be able to make it longer, but I can tighten it up a bit if I decide I want to, okay? So then you literally could be done right here. You could be so done. Uh, do I wanna, oh, I don't know if I wanna even it out. I'm gonna wait a minute, I'm gonna wait a minute. So I, I was going to do another um, kind of project with you guys. I have it all laying here. I mean, I literally legit have it laying here. And I told her I was going to go live today anyway on here and do a project because we had um, ice last night and so um, we had snow the night before, so we've not been able to get out and work so I've been doing projects in my crafting group um, and it's been awesome actually um, I love it over there actually I had the the things laid here we just made a few things here the last few days let's see if I can get this undone I got some rusty bolts is what I'm gonna I'm gonna tie some little things on the bottom of my tassel okay um, oh shoot where is this okay here we go um, but yeah I finished a Valentine uh, one last one of my uh, clay projects. Um, I put it in a rusty can and I did the the clay um, and put did some tassels to it and or not tassel but a but a this is seam binding. That's let me show you that. This is the difference in muslin shreds and seam binding. Seam binding is like a ribbon and um, muslin shred is much thicker. Um, 
heavier bodied. Uh, this is a little more romantic vintage where that's a little more rustic vintage, I guess is what I would, how I would put that here so you guys can, well, you can't really see. Where can I put that there? Maybe you can study that out while I'm working on this. Um, the other thing that we did, <clears throat> we made these ribbons with, oh, well, here's the cream colored muslin shreds before I tea dyed it. So there's the color variants. Um, you can see it just adds a little bit of rustic color and I like, so that you know what white looks like. Then this is just your typical muslin color and then I tea dyed it to get that third color. And then we made ribbons and um, I put them in this bowl just to display at the house for a while. So if you're not in the group, um, which I know you're not because there's not a whole lot of people over there, which is why I love it so much, um, you should you should definitely check it out. Go to my website, TammyLovesVintage.com. It's $15 a month. And it is, um, gosh, I'm, I, I can't even say I'm only doing three videos now. I, I don't even know how many I've done this month. I just jump in there whenever I want to. And <laughs> I really have enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm going to cut that tail off yet. Uh, I really enjoyed having that group. I'm so glad I did it. The problem is, is that I do everything over there, so I don't do a lot of crafts on this page anymore um, because I like, I, I feel like it's just private over there, and um, yeah, I don't know. I just love it over there. So I'm adding some rusty bolts and washers, um, all different sizes. I'm tying it onto the muslin shred more than um, the lace. I don't think I'm going to put any on the lace. You guys can put buttons. You can put beads. You can put just anything you want. I've used... Uh, antique little smalls. Um, let me see. Well, here I have a tassel right here. I can show you um, right beside of me. Uh, there's another tassel over there. I've got an old, a little old um, clock part spring on it. I can see. And then I've added some bling, a strip of bling in there. Let's see. I'm not going to put a whole lot on here. But I am just going to use up these, uh, not use them up, but use just the washers and not do a mix. Um, let me show you the tassel that's right here. Let me just tie on one more, one more thing and then we'll hold it up and see what it looks like. I'm gonna go for a big one. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold it up and we'll see what we have here. Um, let's see. Okay. So, it just adds a little bit of something. You see that? It's not, um, overpowering now i'm going to trim up these this piece is too long this piece is just a snap too long um this piece right here is too long let's see get it out of here so i can cut it without cutting anything else did i get it this piece is going to be too long when it unfolds so there we go um and then yes i need to stretch down my my jute, which just added a little color and texture, um, but I'll need to spritz it down because see, I've got a little crinkle here where I had, it was all tied onto a different project, I suppose, and I've taken it off. And of course, I never throw anything away. So the jute needs to be um, sprayed down and I've got a feeling it's gonna be a little bit too long when I get it straight. So I'm just gonna snip the tip off. So anyway, pretend that this is long. Oh, there, I went and said anyway. My husband gets on me when I say that videos he says I say it too much <laughs> so there you go there is if you could pretend that that um, that uh, jute is, ha is hanging straight so I may mess since I've got so many different lengths I've got it shorter up here and longer um, I don't know I may mess with it shorten it up just a bit We'll see, but this is what I have, and then there's the top, and then there's the hanger. And then let me pull, let me see, let me just reach up right here and get this. Here's one that I made quite a while ago. This is a lamp finial and a door knob, or a cabinet knob. And then this is all lace and seam binding. And then I added, what have I added in here? Oh, okay, there is a, oops, there is a chain from, this chain is from an old uh, rosary. You can find lots of beautiful rosary chains. Someone has taken the ends off of it, but I love the chain itself. Um, when you dig in the smalls at an antique shop or at antique 
shops or vintage fairs you can find all kinds of beautiful things like this lots of digging lots of dirty fingers but you can find treasures this was either a bracelet or a necklace but it was just pieces of um so i put it in here um i've added on i found this glittery uh, i don't even know what it is it's probably a button it has a metal hoop on it so it's probably some kind of a button and then this was off of a um when they would uh put keys on like for lockers or at the uh, body shop and they need to number them. This says a number 41 on it. Not sure you can see that, but there's a number 41 stamped in it. So I hooked that on. Just anything that you want to hook on your tassel, you can hook on there. Um, let me see here. Now I messed, I messed up because, let me find it. Here it is. So here's my knot and <laughs> the stuff just fell completely out of it. I have this uh, E6000 to the lamp finial, but I didn't finish it off and tie a knot. Good, You know, when you're doing it just for yourself, it doesn't. Here's a bread twisty I took off of that other. Let me see if I can jam this back up in here. I'm doing it for myself. I've got it on a um, bread board. I oh, let's see, I need to jab it a little more. I need a, um, I need a skewer. I have actually, I'm using some of those right now. We're doing one last little Christmas project. It doesn't count in the group. Let me see. Oh, I can't reach. Hang on a minute. It doesn't count in the group as a, as a craft per se, but I'm doing it for myself. Here, I had to get a skewer out of my drawer. Um, it doesn't count as a craft for the group, but I showed them one I was working on and they wanted to see. A lot of them hadn't seen it. So, um, oh, come on. I can, there, there. I just have to keep stuffing it up in here through this. Um, it just fell right out of there just as fast as you please. Come on, come on, baby. If I keep stuffing it enough, I'll get it. Well, anyway, you guys saw it. I can work on this later. You guys don't need to sit and watch me do this. However, I do not have my glasses on me. That was, I always forget. And my friend Beth bought me a beautiful chain to put my glasses on and I still don't, um, Still don't have my chain chain where I need it actually it's right there in the drawer I just you know I don't sleep with it on so um, well shoot anyway <laughs> I don't want you guys to have to wait and watch this that's so boring but you know I'll get it you know I'll get it I'm I'm like right here I can see it down in there like I'm so close I just can't quite get it in the speed of this video here so anyway, I'm so close. I'm so close it makes me not want to quit, but I need to quit so I can read your comments and see if there's any questions. And then I'm probably going to leave, let's see, oh, and I have my website Wednesday walk ready for you guys upstairs. Um, got a couple of new items in, so I kind of wanted to put some of those in. So Danita, I was waiting on her to get them on, and she texts me about an hour ago and says, we're ready to roll. So, uh, well, she didn't say that, but. <laughs> she's not that corny <laughs> that I said that uh, just in case she's watching she's gonna say I did not say that <laughs> oh man okay come on I'm almost out of string here to shove up in there I might have to split these two pieces apart and do it that way let me see if I can do that yeah I'm just gonna do that so I'll just re-e6000 this once I have it all together but yeah see I had all that jammed up in there that's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So <laughs> let me, oh man. I don't even know what I was shut, why I did that. Oh, it just fell off. I think I folded it over to show you guys. Try and get my knot through there is what I'm doing. Well, this is real time, real life. I'm probably getting hate faces going across the screen right now. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to stuff my knot in there. So keep that in mind. If your knot's too big, it won't fit through the hole. I might have to tie it. I just can't get my stick to catch that knot. There we go. All right, you know what? I'm done. Let's just snip this. It just won't be as long as it was. <laughs> Let's shove this back up in there you go. There you go, I should've done that in the first place. And then we'll shove the other one. I might have to, um, I might have to round it a little bit here. Let's see if I can skinny it up. 
Oh, and then I just pulled the other one out. Okay, come on, string or ribbon or whatever you are. Okay, we get it? Yes, I got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so then let me tie a knot. Sorry about that, guys. A little technical difficulties. See, this would never happen to Martha Stewart, right? This is why I like to be in the group because it's just my little my little followers and they they're good. I hate to do this with you guys. I just feel like it's too too bigger of a of a group. So what I have here is just I'm totally getting off track, but I have a, a an old cutting board or an old breadboard. Um, everyone calls them something different. And I hung this tassel in the front of that. So that was that is what I do with it. Um, a lot of you ask, what do you do with your tassels when you're done? I hang them on lamps. I know we've done walked around the house and shown you where all the tassels are in my house. I have them everywhere. I absolutely love them. There, um, there you go. So let me, I can just show you. Whoop, I can just show you real quick. There. Oh look, there's my glasses right here. I forgot I hung a pair here just in case on my knob, on my um, drawer pole. Yay! <laughs> so there's my tassel hanging on my breadboard right beside of my, um, right beside of where I craft. So yay, okay. So where is the one I made just now? Here it is. So here's the one that I just made, just to give you guys an idea. Um, and I just tied old washers to the bottom, washers and, um, washers and bolts so there you go um there you go I had a follower asking I won't call her out by name but I think she already said thank you so I think you guys already know <laughs> okay Whew, I'm sweating after all that so so I'm all done with the tassel so what I usually do if I have the time when I finish a video I always go through and read the comments look for questions say hello to anyone who wanted to say hi and um and all of that so that's what I'm gonna do now so if you're um, if someone else is live and you want to catch them you're not gonna miss a thing other than our little chit chat I always call it our chit chat okay so thank you for watching too by the way so I'm just going I'm just using my finger here and I'm just gonna scroll up uh, and there's Kareen hello Kareen I think I already said hi and Tisha hello to you I need to pull this a little closer <laughs> these old eyes um, you're very welcome, Kareen. And there's Connie. Hello, Miss Connie. You're in my group. I'm not stepping out on you. I just had a, a request, and I know you girls know how to make tassels in there. So um, I told her I'd do it on my main page for her. So just in case anybody else watching might want to see. Hello, Rhonda and Kimberly from Kentucky. Hello, Kimberly. How's your weather? Um, we had a lot of ice last night um, from Nebraska. Hi, Barb. Uh, let's see, who else do we have on here? Penny, hi Penny. Oh, and you're in my group too. Yay, I'm glad you girls are catching this here. Hi Rebecca, I'm good today. How are you today? It's like a, it's like a bonus day. I have like an extra day and I love it. Um, yeah, it's always nice to have an extra day. Thank you, Lori, for sharing. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. That just lets more people uh, find us and learn how to make a tassel. Um, hi Kay. Trying to stay warm. Yes, I think a lot of us are. Uh, and there's Julie. Hello, Julie. And LaDonna, I adore your tassels. Uh, yours are really pretty with the variety of trims added. I always have people ask me, what would you do? Um, what would you do with something like that? I have to wonder if they've been living under a rock. LaDonna, that's right. <laughs> that's right, I, I, right? Anything, anything, you can, you can hang it on anything. Um, yeah, I, I agree, but you know, some people need to see and be inspired that way. Um, thanks, Veronica. Well, I love having you here to watch me. It wouldn't be much fun if it was just me by myself. Hi, Maribel, thank you, thank you. Hi, Heather and Penny. You never get tired of watching me create. Um, thank you. A repeat or something new. Thank you, Penny. And that's why you're in my group, right? You, you get first dibs on all the projects I come up with. Hi, Ellen. Yes, Snowy, Oklahoma. I'm Snowy, Ohio uh, and Icy. Uh, Barbara, my sister and I just made tassels out of salt and pepper shakers. Very cute, very cute. You must have had to drill the bottom, um, I'm thinking, the bottom of the glass or metal. 
Um, oh no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't because it would have the hole in the bottom to fill it. Good idea. I love that. Um, yeah, what was I thinking? The bottom would be open. I was thinking you unscrew the top, but I bet you've got one that's got a little plug in the bottom. Hi, Mom. Nancy Simpson Brewer, that's my mom. Uh, let's see here. Connie, come join us in Tammy's group. Oh, thank you, Connie. Yeah, it is, it is, it's hard to explain what it's like in there. I'm seeing some people that haven't said hello that are in there, though. Hi, Rebecca. Um, thank you. I hope you're staying warm. Yes, Kathy, I have been um, curled up here on the couch. I've been watching a little, uh, a little um, Netflix. Um, you love the one with the lamp finial? Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, it was just a rusty piece. You know, when I'm digging through, literally when, <laughs> when Julie and I are shopping, our fingers are dirty. Um, it's fun. It takes a lot of time to go through all of the, uh, the people's small um, things, but that's where you find the good stuff. You really, you know, you just walk by and you're seeing all the stuff. But when you really stop and dig in their boxes and trays and stuff, boy, you can find some good stuff. Thank you, June. Thank you. Well, there you go. You must be the person I, I did this on here for. A small, yes, a small crochet hook would have worked. You're right, Sandy. I could have used that to try and get the, the, um, the thread through, yes. Um, you're very welcome, Kareen. I suppose you have the day off too, so you're wanting to make some tassels. Uh, what did you have in the wooden bowl? Julie, I, uh, in our group, we made ribbon um, with seam binding, and then I just tied them onto spools and some driftwood, and then, you know, I always fill my bowls with something. My favorite thing is the um, the black eyed peas, so they're just little dried uh, beans with a little black dot on them, and yeah, so instead of just shoving them in a drawer, I put them out for display. So that was what was in the bowl. And then this was our latest project in the group. We finished it um, for Valentine's Day. And so there's that, and it's our clay, um, our clay hearts. So yeah. Hi, Esther. Uh, hi, Sarah. Thanks, Kareen, I'm glad you like it. Now listen, yours can look like anything. You can use all lace. You can use any, you can use just yarn if you want to, you guys. You don't, you can just, uh, my yarn, I have a really cool textured thin yarn. You can use the thick stuff, just whatever you want to uh, make your tassel with. I have, I have added yarns. Um, you can do it in colors. It, just any, however you want to make it um, is, is um, fine. I mean, just do it. There's no rules. You just put whatever you want in your, um, in your tassel. Kathy, Martha has a team. I was trying to think of what you were saying. Yes, she does. <laughs> uh, thank you for doing this one. We'll watch the replay. Okay, Tanya. Uh, there's Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. And there's Kathy. Love the tassel. Thank you. You will definitely make one. Okay, Esther, I'm glad. You're so funny. I love it when you have a problem because it makes it so real life. Yes, Becky, for goodness sake. Oh, I could not get that thing to come through. Um, I'm late, but I'll watch the replay on the tassels. Wonderful, Sheila. I'm glad you were able to catch this, and I hope you enjoy that, um, learning how to make them. Uh, and there's Chris. Hello. I always look forward to your lives because you have so many creations in your head. I do, Penny. You just never know what's coming next. It's so weird to be doing a Christmas project, but I was just finishing one up for my girls or for myself and I thought I'm just going to go live and show the girls what I'm doing just in case they missed it. Well, they were all like messaging me, hey, can you do that? And then one of the girls in the group had done one even differently uh, making these trees than how I did. So of course today I've been sitting on my sofa wrapping and working on it so that I'm going to go live in there in a little bit and show them what I came up with. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm so glad she shared with me. I think that was Penny that's on here. Um, she's in my group. Okay, can't wait to watch the replay and make some of your own. Awesome, Debbie. I hope you do. I hope you share a picture. Love them going to try some. Oh, well, good, Ellen. You all must be home with the snow. Uh, you have to watch the replay. Okay, Sarah. Uh, Kareen, I am Apollo excited to make them, making several right now. Oh, good, Kareen. She is making several right this minute. Where do you get the washers and whatnots that you put in the tassels? Stephanie, honestly, I raided my uh, husband's garage, my father-in-law's garage, uh, my stepdad's garage, like any, any place I can get rusty stuff. Um, I find it in antique shows. Sometimes they'll sell, like I bought this whole bag of rusty 
stuff at a um, antique booth, um, you, just wherever you can find it, um, literally. I mean, I've found a washer before at a parking lot and picked it up and threw it in the drink part of my car, you know, to have. And, and um, yeah, just wherever you find it, doesn't matter. I've tied keys. You could tie old keys on, just anything. Um, you can tie brooches. Um, you could glue. Like, if something doesn't have a tie, there's no reason that you couldn't... Um, I'm trying to find an end. <laughs> There's no reason that you couldn't glue buttons, you know, maybe two or three buttons on the ends on both sides or something like that. Like you can glue stuff. It, it, sky's the limit with these tassels, you guys. Uh, shoveling snow and almost missed you. Oh, Beverly. Well, I'm, I'm happy to uh, get you out of that job. <laughs> um, you're making them right now, Kareem. That's awesome. Good for you. Hey, Katina. Hello. And there's Connie, the hi Tammy's mom. <laughs> She's saying hi to my mom. That's so sweet. Uh, Ramona, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you'll have to watch the replay. Yes, Deborah. Um, definitely rewind this. And and if you see me come on again, uh, hi Vonnie. If you see me come on again, uh, I did have a plan. <laughs> yeah, no rules. There is no rules in crafting and in decorating. It's kind of why I got into it. There's nobody that can come along and say you did it wrong. Oh gosh, look, you guys can see my 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 first Fiona and my second Fiona. My first Fiona is kind of in the hospital. She's not feeling very well, obviously. So I got a new one. I love. Um, I love these fiddle leaf uh, ferns, fig, fig, fiddle leaf figs. I don't think they're ferns, a fiddle leaf, whatever it is. It's fiddle leaf plant. Um, I love them. And I didn't realize it was in this video. I guess, it, of course, it would be. Oh, well, you've already seen it now. Um, let's see. Love your order. Oh, good, Linda. I'm glad. I'm glad. She ordered something off of our website. Um, can't wait to see my trees. Oh, Penny, yes. I was gonna say I probably won't put them on here, but yes, they'll be over in the group. And I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you what I did like yours. So I'm excited. I'll be over there in just a bit. Um, love your tassels. Thank you. Love the one you bought. Oh, thank you, Vonnie. I'm glad you have a good day too. I'm glad you liked it. Um, oh, Linda sent me some stars, girlfriend. Oh, hearts to you. Thank you so much. If I could send you back hearts, I would. Uh, hi, Linda. Uh, same way here. If I see something rusty on the ground, I pick it up and take it home. Yes, Penny. <laughs> We're sisters in that way. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just anywhere, you guys. If you have an antique shop or a, or a Goodwill, go look at their little small things, and maybe you can find something there. Or uh, when you're yard sailing, maybe you'll pick up an old toolbox or something. Um, or ask them if you can just have the nuts and bolts out of it. Um, or you just have to go get some new ones from the um, from the hardware store and you may have to uh, rust them yourself, which you can do that too. Um, uh, oh, I wish Patricia Clayton, She, I don't know if she's on here or not, but she, I know she knows the recipe off the top of her head. I know it's something to do with vinegar and I forget what else, but you can, you can either throw them out on the, you know, on a, I'd put something under it on a dish or something and let them just lay in the rainwater and snowy ice and all of that and they'll rest on their own. Or, and I would get different kinds because I've noticed not every, like this was a can, this was an old can and I did that. I had it outside resting forever. And um, sometimes not all cans rust. So I know there's a recipe to do it, but um, I just, I usually, just keep some rusty things on hand. So I don't, I don't know the recipe of making it, but I know there's vinegar in it. If you Pinterest it, if, if Patricia sees it, she might put it in the comments. You can look back later. Uh, but I know if you go to Pinterest and put how to rust something, it will come up. I promise. So, all right, you got, oh, upstairs. Oh, I thought someone else was saying hello. I just had someone else jump on to watch. Um, I never call you guys out. If you don't say hello, I don't, I don't call you out that you're watching and I don't see everybody. So, um, Sometimes it tells me who's watching and sometimes it doesn't. So anyway, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go do the trees in the group. And then I think I'll come back on and do the um, Walk Your Website Wednesday now that I know everything is online. So you'll probably see me uh, maybe about an hour. I'll come back uh, as soon as I finish up in the group. And then um, I do have a project that I'd like to do for myself. And I thought I would just share it over here with you guys. So I'll probably come back on later tonight and do one, one more one more 
It's always nice when I'm home because I get to do this kind of thing. So you guys have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you back when we walk the website because it's Wednesday. And um, I'm going to show you some uh, new things that we got in and some old things that we've had um, that are still awesome that you may not know about. And um, yeah, I'll see you again. Have a good day. Bye.